hello scorpio welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit guys okay let's see what's going on for scorpio spirit messages for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node messages here for scorpio <clears throat> messages for scorpio please and thank you block any interferences please spirit guides angels okay messages for scorpio what do we have okay all right bottom of the deck we have the hidden hidden enemies jealousy hiding true intentions being two-faced time to work in silence okay so you got somebody trying to work against you here um scorpio we got marriage Attracting a long-term partner, marriage life, attracted to a married person, <laughs> new partner may be divorced, yeah. Then we have contracts, important legal matters, agreement between two parties, making something official, applications and signatures. So definitely a contract here. It could be you were married to someone in a past life, possibly. It could be your twin flame that you're dealing with or this person here, your twin. It could be married, well, same thing applies, but your twin could be married to somebody there in a contract with someone else. Okay. It says, uh, or this person wants to marry you here, but we're going to see. It says leadership, high influence in business, stepping into a leadership role. You know your value and self-worth using logic over emotions. Yeah, this could be a situation where you are using logic over emotions here. No matter how much you're attracted to somebody, you got to respect yourself more than staying stuck with somebody that's married. And they're an idiot for not telling you either. They're just as bad. They're, they're horrible, actually. Even if they were separated or not, that's something that you should know. So this person could have had you in the rebound or something like that. Now this shit about to hit the fan because this person found out about you. They're hidden <laughs> or they're trying to be or and, and they're jealous. They don't like your ass now. So let's see. <laughs> Magnetic, seduction, charm, attracting things in life, attraction, attraction to something or someone, hard to, to resist something or someone. So yeah, let's see what's going on here. So now this, this person is... is you got this per person hooked now, Scorpio, or you're the one in this mess here with this marriage. But yeah, now now you got this person hooked and <laughs> they're having to end something with their little marriage or whatever the fuck they, they were in. But let's see. Yeah, four of cups, somebody discontent. I feel like they're thinking about your ass too. <laughs> all they can do is daydream about you so let's see what else for um scorpio let's see why is marriage here for scorpio sun moon rising venus north node why is marriage here yeah king of swords could be dealing with an air sign aquarius libra or gemini but this is the person handling the contract this is the the, the judge the lawyer the whatever the fuck is going on the king of swords that's my that's that's the card that i described the um a court situations when it comes down to court but let's see marriage for scorpio why is marriage here okay the fool in reverse yeah somebody realized they fucked up <laughs> they made a stupid ass foolish decision and they neglected you here somebody married somebody that's neglectful toward their kids as well they don't take care of their fucking kids either but the fool in reverse is definitely um i feel like this person if they're getting a divorce or something like that, if they're already married, they're, they're definitely scared to come towards you to tell you that they were already married to begin with. But somebody definitely did something stupid and got married to someone. I don't even know why. <laughs> like, I'm picking up on y'all energy. I, I don't know why I say I don't even know why, because who the fuck knows what happened? I don't. Only y'all do. But it's just, yeah, it's fighting, arguing, and some, some shit going on. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius or Aries here. But... I feel like somebody's taking a scared to take a leap of faith on you as well because they see that something here is um going to be long term with you. So they're scared. They're 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 really trying to figure out this is what they want for life. So they're really scared. But I do feel like somebody did something dumb. What what's this marriage right here for Scorpio? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is why they in and out with your ass. Because somebody here is a player. Somebody <sighs> This person is passionate about you. They see you as long-term commitment. You could be this person's partner, but this person was already dealing with someone else. This is why they were so in and out with you. They were being a player. They weren't being consistent. They were childish. They were very childish, whoever this is. What else? Or somebody was already, or you were married 
and whoever you were married to is cheating on you or have been in and out or something and now you feel like you made a dumb decision yeah five of swords the queen of cups somebody's very manipulative what's marriage for scorpio yeah page of wands yeah now now it's a child involved and all that but i do feel like somebody's childish so this has something to do with kids okay definitely has something to do with kids here this person, I feel like they started something new with you. So I'm, I'm really picking up past energy right here. This person started something new with you with the Page of Wands. They started communicating with you and yada, yada, yada. And the attraction was there. And this person, I don't know, they were in and out with you because they were already dealing with someone else. Yeah, had a child with someone or, or, or you know, and shit like that. But yeah, this situation seems a bit messy. What um, What's this Page of Wands though? What's the Page of Wands? yeah eight of eight of wands so there there's good news coming in there's some good news coming in so this person here wanting to marry you but i feel like it's fear too they want to be with you but it's fear they're scared of how you will react or or what you would say to the fact that they want to be with you long term or a relationship or whatever but page of wands is definitely good news it's communication with the eight of wands it's positive movement forward as things changing and shifting so this could be you here because the page of wands is moving away from this knight of wands energy they're going in the opposite direction so this could be you moving on you're just wanting to start something new it could be some travel involved you could be moving because you already know that this person is married and now that's some shit that they're stuck in but you know take it how it resonates <clears throat> Take it how it resonates, but nonetheless, there's some there's some communication coming in. It could be from this married person or, or whatever. I don't know if it's too much of good news. Maybe they're telling you that they got a divorce, but let's see. What else for Scorpio? What is this contract here? Important legal matters, agreement between two parties. Okay, yeah, death and reverse. Yeah, somebody here, this is you, Scorpio, or this could be somebody else. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, but... Somebody is scared, bro. Somebody is scared to make something official with you because they know it's something that's they're going to be locked in. Somebody doesn't like to feel tied down or they're scared to be in some type of relationship here. But somebody, I feel like with the death card in reverse, somebody here can't let you go either. They can't just walk away from you. And they know the only way that they can be with you is if they fucking be in a long-term relationship and make it official. If they don't make it official, then you're moving on. You're not dealing with the bullshit here. And I feel like it's fear. This person is stuck in some type of negative mindset or something about this relationship with you. Let, let's see. But something here is not over either with the death and reverse. What is contracts with the death and reverse? Somebody is scared of change. Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, you're, you're this person's wish fulfillment or happiness or something like that. It makes This makes you happy or this person makes you happy or something. And I feel like wish fulfillment is coming in because something ain't over with you and somebody here. You guys have a soul contract to be together in this lifetime or something. You guys signed this shit in a past life here. That's why I say I feel like it's a strong energy of you and somebody already being married. But this person needed to to heal some karma or do some karmic work here in this lifetime to get to this wish fulfillment. Yeah, do the inner work. Thank you, spirit. Could be dealing with the Virgo. But what what's, what else for contracts? Seven of Swords. Yeah, this this person is lying about a contract too, though. They, they're lying about something. Or you, you, you already know this. This person ran away from you. They're very methodical and strategic. That's definitely giving me Virgo energy. They overthink shit. And they're running away from what they really, really want. That's what this is. What's this Death Card in reverse for Scorpio? Yeah, four of pentacles holding back or holding on to certain things that need to be let go of. I feel like this person is very controlling. Somebody is very controlling or possessive and just like they're holding back from you because they don't like feeling like they're not in control of, of their emotions, okay, possibly. And also, I feel like um, somebody is penny pinching right now because of whatever this divorce is or this contract is that somebody's in got them really stuck financially, but somebody here doesn't want to change their ways either, though. I don't know who this is. Or maybe it's a person that your person was married to. I don't know. Only you know your person. But somebody here doesn't want to change their ways. Or there's something here that you have to do or somebody has to do in regards to legalities. 
somebody yeah somebody's holding on to something that needs to kind of like end and it, it, yeah but it's going to end anyway i feel like it's what is the seven of swords for scorpio yeah nine of swords yeah whatever this is is causing anxiety depression staying up late at night overthinking the situation worryation okay what's the seven of swords with the nine of swords yeah page of pentacles yeah, something about children or a child as well. Strong, 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 strong about children. There's a fight or a battle about children or assets or something like that with someone. But yeah, cycle is closing out and there's new love coming. For some of you, this is brand new because this person needs to get themselves out of this stupid ass situation. But for others of you, uh, your person wants to offer you something, but they know that they've lied or they're lying about something. They want to offer you something, but they keep refusing to change what, what's going on with them and their circumstances here to make it better so that way you guys can come together. Whatever this is, is stressing them out, though, and I feel like they're going to hit rock bottom because for others of you, this is, uh, you know, it could go either way. It could be like a third party energy trying to ruin a, um, an offer that's supposed to be coming into you or something like that. But for some of you, this is a job offer coming in that... Um, Yeah, I'm feeling more so as somebody trying to offer you something, but they're a liar, though. They're being sneaky about something. And that's why they ask is stressed. Because um, <laughs> they know that they've lied, but sure, they wish fulfillment, though. I feel like somebody's just very greedy and selfish. They want their cake and eat it, too. And that's not going to work. But here's something come. What's this page of pentacles? What's the page of pentacles? Yeah. Look, whoever this is. Somebody, somebody's trying to trap someone in a contract too. That somebody's trying to trap someone and, and make someone get married to them to keep them stuck. That's what that's what this is. And I feel like your person has already went through that with somebody with the karmic energy. And this is why they ass is stuck right now. Because that's exactly what they did. Yeah, the magician, three of cups, the devil, five of swords. Yeah. Listening to family, friends, or advice from other people instead of standing in their own fucking power. Somebody could have been doing spell work too to keep somebody stuck, but we're gonna see. But yeah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is definitely a money-hungry energy, okay? So somebody here just wants money. Somebody wants to offer you something, but they just want money or this is your person being offered from someone else, okay? And this person is very unreliable. They're unstable. You can't really depend on this person for shit, even to keep their word because they, they don't. They're very disloyal and they're not honest. But anyways, let, let's move on. What is um, leadership here? This is why they're holding back from you because they're stuck in something. What is leadership for Scorpio? Leadership. Or this is you. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Could be dealing with a strong Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But, uh, so whatever this is, somebody here could be taking on a leadership role here that's going to make them financially stable. Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. knocking at my door y'all i missed my damn ups package the other day because i was at home and i needed to sign so i'm kind of pissed about that but whatever so nine of pentacles oops okay nine of pentacles yeah so um you guys could be going into a, a business role here you're going to be an entrepreneur or your career is just getting you to a point where you're going to be successful or this could be your person either way flip it switch it because you could already be in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Your money is building. You're, you're heading towards wealth and prosperity. Abundance here. Definitely very independent. You're very self-reliant. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. So whatever this leadership role is, is definitely going to um make you happy. Uh, and I just feel like you're focused on your money right now. Yeah. Let's see what else for leadership okay five of wands so so somebody here could be trying to stop you from going towards your independence somebody yeah the devil this person does not want you to be single or this is your person somebody's in a contract but somebody does not want someone to be single or somebody doesn't want to go towards you you're very single i mean you're very um you're very beautiful and you have shit going for yourself and somebody may be jealous or in competition and all that stupid shit 
but that that you know that's what's going on here could be dealing with the capricorn yeah there's fights and arguments could be about money or property or assets here too with the nine of pentacles five of wands yeah what else for leadership you are a leader okay you you have you are you already are a leader and whoever this person is married to or in a contract with they're jealous of you but what's this leadership what else okay the lovers yeah 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 it could be dealing with the gemini so yeah there, there's definitely a yeah with three of swords definitely a choice between two and somebody didn't get chosen and now there's heartbreak there's fights there's arguing because they know if your person is single now they're going to go towards you and that's probably what they're going to do or if you're single now you're going towards someone new and somebody doesn't want you to fucking um do that they don't want you to get this money so that way you can move on somebody's very codependent i got this for virgo too they want you for your finances and all that bullshit here what's this five of wands yeah three of wands yeah this is why things are stagnant because there's fighting, there's arguing, and there's somebody here. You already turned your back. You turned your back on this, or this is your person. And somebody's really trying to stop you from moving forward or moving on and ready to take a, a, a new opportunity here. They could be trying to stop your work, your money from coming in. So that way you won't, you can't move or do whatever you need to do. But the lovers here is definitely a choice between two. And I feel like the choice has already been made. And the choice is to be single and move in silence. And whether, you're, whether your person is coming towards you or not, they don't your person doesn't want this outside interferences to know so what's the lovers yeah four of cups somebody missed an opportunity with the person that they really want to be with due to whatever this is and their money being low or not having enough money um but the four of cups definitely talks about somebody being discontent in a relationship or unsatisfied I feel like somebody here just wants sex and money anyway. It's nothing really. This person, there, there's really not no love here. Yeah, but somebody's very discontent or unhappy and they're being ignored. Okay, somebody's rejecting somebody's offer. But a connection with you and this person is stagnant because of this is what this person is going through. Yeah, the emperor. Mm -hmm. what's, what's magnetic? <laughs> Seduction, charm. Yeah, temperance. This is a very deep soul connection. That you and this person have you could be dealing with the sagittarius yeah and it's divinely protected too it's, it's being you're being guided here so whatever is going on within this connection is meant to happen because there's some lessons that need to be learned here okay your person here got stuck with the karmic and they should have did this shit in their past life <laughs> the fuck they bring this shit here for now now y'all got to deal with the bullshit things would have been okay if this shit ain't happened or if they would have just told you the truth about the contract they were in you know, they didn't take you serious. That's the issue. They didn't think that you were going to be their twin or this person that they're meant to be with and shit like that. Now it's backfiring. That's exactly what it's doing. But yeah, this person is watching you because you have options now. You're you're abundant. You're blessed. Okay, you have options. I feel like you also look something up to or you're looking into this person. You're seeing that they're married. Okay. For also for some of you, just you could have some type of inheritance money coming in or something that's being passed down to you. Okay, you're you're looking over paperwork or looking into something like that. But I feel like this person is watching you. That uh, you have options and shit like that, and they're disappointed. They're sad because you're walking away, and they missed their mark. So you know, of course they're gonna try to come back. You know, and spirit is not going to let something that's meant to be for you pass you by. You got free will. You can say yay or nay. But I'm just saying. I know that they're going to try to come back. They are. They're just going through a lot of shit right now. And it's on them because they should have said that they were married to begin with. <laughs> so anyways, what's, uh, yeah, the tower. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, truth, clarity is coming. So what, um, what else for magnetic with the temperance? Yeah, <laughs> the devil. So there's healing and things having, happening in divine timing. But you and your person here are definitely energetically tied it's something that you can't even break even if you do core cutting rituals i feel like this is a twin flame connection it can't be broken but now that i said that somebody could need to do core cutting rituals here to break free from whoever this person is that's trying to come in between the connection a ritual needs to be done but the the devil in reverse is somebody regaining their power their control over themselves and the situation around them uh breaking free from whatever the toxic energies are 
so they can attract this relationship and attract better things for themselves yeah what, what else for magnetic somebody's going to receive some type of wake-up call yeah what else for magnetic <clears throat> yeah page of cups yeah so we got three pages out here so you could have kissed this person or you could um yeah somebody's definitely trying to block you from your empress or block um yeah this connection from coming in by being manipulative or playing little mind games and shit like that to keep somebody stuck or trapped but there's communication coming in this person wants to heal something with you this person really admires you okay because the connection is definitely strong here definitely strong So expect communication because it's coming with the page of cups an apology is coming because they want to heal something with you temperance talks about reconciliation so as well along with divine timing and patience and everything else so let's see for scorpio spirit bottom of the deck we have union look see the time has come to break through your barriers or fears so that a deeper union can be experienced with others around you. Allow yourself to be open, vulnerable, and available for new experiences of intimacy. Unions with love, friendship, and spiritual guides are coming. Let go of trauma bonds, welcome, and healthy love. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. So you're coming into union with someone. Yeah, blessings. It says, amazing news is coming for you. Your guides and spirit have been working to help you make your dreams come true. Blessings are coming in unexpected ways. Be alert and open to new opportunities. All of the good you have put out into the world has come back to you to reward you for your effort and intent. This is a good omen. Yeah. Because that's what I feel. I feel like both of y'all have good intentions. I do. But this person should have been honest. And you just live and you learn. Yep. Bottom of the deck. Reconciliation. With the soulmate. Yeah. Wow. Regret. Rebirth. Yeah. It says forgiveness, emotional healing, and return of former connections is on the way. You have options to accept or reject the offer. Expect apologies, explanations, and sincerity. Letting go of grudges helps the healing process. Openness, honesty, and gentleness will help you start over with a clean slate. So that's what's happening, guys. That's what's happening. Yeah. Somebody here got stuck into some bullshit that they really, really regret. But I feel like things are going to balance out with the temperance. They are. Balance is coming. It's just a matter of time. I don't know when. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is well. Effort required for, for reward. What you wish for is attainable. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. So I feel like um, a wish that you made a while ago when it comes down to this person is coming in. So we have child, new love, crush, playfulness, honeymoon stage, pregnancy. So definitely something about a pregnancy or children is here, most definitely. I feel like this person was also childish as, as well. So you wish for this person, but you got to be careful about what you manifest because it can come. They came, they probably came back probably a lot of times, but they were still childish. So when you manifest and when you pray, make sure you're very, very specific. <laughs> it says moon. In love, attraction, chemistry, romantic feelings, emotional. Yeah, a lot of feelings here. Then we have no, deny, denial, abandon, rejection. Yes. Somebody here is being rejected, like, I, like I've been saying, and they're mad. That's why they're fighting. Lily, mature love, sincere love, love later in life, older love. So yeah, you and this person here are going to grow old together. I told you, you guys have been married in a past life. <laughs> you really, really have. You're going to grow old together and all type of shit. But that's only if you want it, though. <laughs> Work, work and finances, meet at work, love based on money, work or money affecting love life. Yeah, let's get two more. Okay, that's too many. Then we have magnifier. Take a closer look, analyze, things are not what they seem. Okay, then we have yes, granted, accepting, welcoming, support. So... Bottom of the deck is book, secret admirer, secret affair, something hidden, intellectual connection. So yeah, this person has to come clean about somebody. I feel like somebody's been hating on you and your person the whole time. Somebody's bitter ass ex or baby mama or baby daddy or something has been trying to get in the way. 
and I feel like this is what they have to tell you, but they got some, they got a role to play in this shit too, though. Okay, only you know what's going on. All right, so this is your reading, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.